Welcome to Spin Town, Spin Town, Creepers in the Blue and Gold. Spin Town, Spin Town, the Grim Reaper's gonna get your soul. In the cobble pit, you get your soul. Don't even try resisting in Spin Town. Welcome to Spin Town, everyone. Today we're going to show you a video of somebody totally owning my yellow parkour over on my server, Spin Core. Um, the yellow parkour is the easy course, but the times this guy was putting up were pretty awesome. Like, I consistently was logging in and seeing five and a half, six minute uh, finishing times on this course, and I sure as hell can't do that. <laughs> so I was just kind of wondering, is this guy cheating, or is he doing it legit? So I was making a point of looking for his name when I was logging in, and I finally saw him the other day, and I asked him if he could uh, run the yellow parkour for me and let me record him. And he was nice enough to do so. He was in the process of practicing, I think it was the black course at the time, um, but he was willing to lose his position on it and come over and run the yellow for me. The first time he ran the course with me recording, he finished with a time of um, maybe 11 and a half minutes, somewhere around there. And it's because he got stuck on the six block jump that a man named Mark built for me. Now, um, after doing that, you know, he's like, I'm pretty tired now. And I said, okay, I was hoping to get like a time under like six minutes or something uh, and upload it to the website. And so he volunteered to do it one more time. And this time as he was running, and he did much better. Uh, he got it to whatever the time was in this video I just showed, five minutes something. So really a pretty amazing time in my opinion. And uh, I was glad and very um, grateful that he was willing to let me record him do this so I can put it on the website. Because I get so many people saying, oh, this is not possible. How do you do this? And, you know, I've got the tutorial up there showing people how to do it with, like, written descriptions, how to do it. But I thought it would be good for them to see somebody just do the whole course, like, real quick, just totally own it. And maybe they'd stop complaining it's too hard. <laughs> because, I mean, yeah, I can't run it this fast, you know, and most people won't be able to. But, you know, even if you can't do it really fast, with a little trial and error and practice, you should be able to finish the easy course. It's not that hard, um, as long as you're willing to put in the effort. Now, I would really love it if this guy would uh, get to where he could uh, let me do a recording of him on the blue course and maybe the black course, and even the white course when it opens soon. I'm hoping that it's open really soon. Uh, and then I can also put those videos up on the website. That'd be pretty cool. But I don't know. I don't know how good he is at the other ones. I know he's been practicing on the black course, so you know maybe he's not quite as fast as uh, he would like to be yet. I don't know. But we'll see. Anyways, uh, he's had no problems here so far. He's maybe died once or twice and then came back and owned the same thing. He just died on the next time. So, yeah, he's, he's not really had to struggle much yet in this run. Uh, and he's over halfway into it uh, right now or about the halfway point. Let's see here. Uh, the one thing I was a little surprised with is not just the speed that he was able to do this, but there's a couple of these jumps that I always take a few tries to get because, you know, it's just, you know, they're kind of hard, and at the same time, you just kind of need to, I guess, get the feel of the jump <laughs> before you can get it right, at least I do. Uh, so he, there's some of them he just owned the very first try that I was like, oh, wow, that was pretty cool. And I think he's going to be coming up to one of those here soon. Yeah, it's one of those ones where you had to grab the ladder from the side. I, man, I could never get that the first try. Um, even if I do, I'm not going to make the part where you spiral up the first time. So, yeah, that was uh, pretty cool. Uh, I think he died once right there on the vines. That's no big deal. He came back, nailed it the second time, and right here. If I get that the first time, you know, I'm definitely going to die on the spiraling part right here. I never make the whole thing the first try, it seems like. so. And he seems to uh, do it with very little effort right there. So, yeah, that, that was impressive. Now, this next part right here, you know, that's easy. I mean, even if you fail it the first time, you don't die. So this this part everybody should be able to do without dying. But, yeah, he doesn't just do it without dying. He does it without falling any. So that was good. And then he comes up to the hard part. Uh, because this one, the six-block jump that's coming up, is as much luck as it is skill. Uh, you, you can't really time uh, how you jump off the end. It's just 
okay, did it work out? Did I get lucky? Is it going to send me flying this time, or is it, am I going to hit my head and just fall straight down? So, you know, you're going to have to die a few times there just uh, trying to get lucky. And, you know, he finally got it after a few tries, which was a lot faster than he did the previous time. He struggled a lot the first time he did it. And then he got hit by the piston. So he has to do it one more time. Nope, he has to do it a third time. Oh, so I'm thinking to myself at this point, it's going to be like the other video where it took 11 minutes because he got stuck here. But nope, he finally gets it, and he gets the piston jump on the third try. And now he's just got the spider webs, the one that everybody complained about over on Scotland Studios for so long. This used to be in the very middle of the parkour over at Scotland Studios, and people would get stuck there, and very few would get by. And, you know, to me, this one... <clears throat> Excuse me, got a frog in my throat. To me, this one was never all that hard. So, you know, I didn't really care about the complaining over there and how hard it was because I knew myself I could do this one, you know, in 10 minutes of practice easy. And, you know, a lot of times I'd nail it on the first or second try. And this guy does it first try. <laughs> so, yeah, I was right. That wasn't that hard. And this guy is really good. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, there's a brand new video here every single Monday, and if you guys want a bonus video on Friday, you just have to get this video 100 views or 10 thumbs by Thursday. And, guys, if you want to try out SpinCore, it's public. It's free for anybody to play on. And I'd love to see your videos. If you want to do an LP of you playing my server, hey, tweet me a link on Twitter, and I will definitely watch the video and comment on your video as well. So, anyways, hope to see you again next Monday. Goodbye.